Hey Journeys, where y'all been? It's Unique and I'm back with another video. So today I wanted to come and give y'all an updated Q&A and I'm going to do it in the form of the horrible questions ethic version that I did a couple of months ago. So if y'all are interested in getting a little more up close and personal with your girl, then definitely stay tuned. Okay y'all, so I know last time we had wine or whatever, but I'm going through some health things right now that I cannot have a glass of wine unfortunately so instead we are definitely going to be on our herbal tea so i got my bingo spice tea with a little bit of elderberry and a hint of honey y'all already know that i have been loving this combination lately so that's what we drinking what's your favorite drink okay so let's get into it the first question is do you like someone i feel like that's such a broad question but if they're talking about having a crush i would say no no, I think my crushing days are over. <laughs> I don't have anybody that I'm crushing on and I'm okay with that, okay? Do I like someone? No, I don't like nobody. Next question, have you ever stayed up for 48 hours? Absolutely not. I am a grandmother. You will not catch me staying up for two days straight, okay? The only circumstance in which I will stay up for 48 hours is one, if I'm going through labor or something like that, or two, maybe if I'm traveling internationally and just preparing for my trip and I happen to not go to sleep on a plane, which I always go to sleep on a plane, but let's just say hypothetically I didn't go to sleep, that would be the only condition as to which I would stay up for 48 hours. And if I was on a challenge to stay up for 48 hours for a million dollars, I'll definitely do it, period. Next question, do you hate anyone at the moment? Hate? Oh my God, that's such a strong emotion. I wouldn't say that I hate anybody, but I do have people that's indirectly in my life that I dislike. <laughs> And there's also people in my life that's presently in my life that there's ways about them that I dislike. But I wouldn't say that I have such a strong emotion of hate towards anyone. I really believe that what goes around comes around. So I just try not to live my life in a space where I'm hating people because I don't want to put that energy out there because I don't like that energy coming back on me. I'm not really one to dwell in hate and envy and jealousy and stuff like that that I really just try to love everybody. Having the feeling of hate towards somebody, I just don't feel like it mixes well with my vibe or my energy. So I just don't, I can't be bothered. Next question, do you miss someone? Absolutely, y'all know the person that I'm always missing, I'm missing, okay? I'm missing Flame right now. I feel like it has been so long since we have been together, even though it was literally just yesterday. <laughs> No, it wasn't yesterday, but I really do miss being in her presence. So I would say Flame is a person that I miss. I also miss my family in Jacksonville, to be honest. Like, I can't wait until this whole thing is over as to where I go and travel to Florida more often again because I like being out there. I like kicking it with them. They're a whole vibe. And every time I go down there, I really don't get my Jacksonville family on the vlog. But if y'all was just a fly outside, you would really get your life. The people that I'm missing right now is definitely Flame and my family in Jacksonville. That's a good question. Have any pets? No, I don't technically have pets, but I do have guardian pets, i.e. pets through other people that I feel like is a part of my own. Pets of my own, I do not have. If I was to get a pet, I would definitely want to have a dog. Marco's barking in the background. How fitting. Hello, universe. <laughs> but I would definitely want to have a dog. Y'all know a couple of years ago, I had my own dog. And even though he was so frustrated at times because he was going through his little puppy phase, I can definitely say that I grew an attachment to him. And oh my gosh, he just won my heart over within days. I would the very first day that I saw him, I was just like, you're mine. He was so cute, he was so rare, he was so unique, and to be honest, I know that he can't be replaced, but I would honestly get the very same dog. Same color, same breed, he would have to have that little white spot on his tummy, down to the teeth, because I love that dog so much. He was just so 
beautiful and I like the fact that he just took to me within like a really short period of time and he loved me like it's crazy I guess it's the same feeling that you get from being a mom and maybe it's because like one of the biggest desires of my heart is to be a mom I just feel like I have a natural nurturing vibe about me and I want like that feeling of having something in this world that I can call my own but also like grow up and raise and see grow and develop and I think that's the same feeling that I get with a pet and I know some people out there don't feel like pets and humans equate to the same thing but to me it's all life and how you treat one life versus how you treat the other life I feel like it should all be the same because it's a life and life is precious next question how exactly are you feeling at the moment uh i feel a little bit burnt out re like my quote unquote professional life ish professional ish ish <laughs> as professional as i can be but my day job i feel like my day job burned me out this week we're currently in our peak season but on a personal level i do feel really really good i feel like my creative juices is flowing i don't know if y'all can tell with the content that i've been putting out I just feel like my creative energy is just thriving. I do have an upcoming therapy appointment on the 14th, so it'll definitely target something as it relates to me and what I find fulfillment in. That was the last thing that we left off on, and there's a little bit of gray area as it relates to fulfillment in my life, and that's something that I'm still trying to figure out. Like, where do I really want to be? Uh, who it is that I really want to be what is it that I want to get my time into uh, That's something I'm still trying to figure out because outside of my love life I wouldn't say there's anything in my life that gives me fireworks I just have little sparks of things that is very passing I was explaining to my therapist that is nothing in my life that I feel like I will fall on my face for you get what I'm saying? There's nothing that I strongly feel that it's like a strong fulfillment about. So yeah, I think that's the space that I'm in right now. So y'all pray for me, okay? Y'all pray for me that I figure it out. But I'm still young. I have time. But at the same time, I do want to be in a place where I feel 100% fulfilled. So yeah, I know it'll come with time. Progress, progress, process. The next question is, have you ever made out in the bathroom? I don't think I've ever made out. Have I made out in the bathroom? Maybe when I'm having like shower sex or something, like I would have made out in the shower. To answer that question, yes, but the bathroom is not my default location for making out because honestly, you guys, I feel like bathrooms are nasty. I could be in the cleanest bathroom ever, but it's still a nasty place to me. I don't really trip like hanging out in the bathroom. It just gives me the bejeebas for some reason. I don't care how clean it is. I don't like to be in there too long. The bathroom would not be my default choice for making out, but a place that I do love making out, I'm giving y'all the tea. Oh my gosh, let me take a sip before I tell y'all cause y'all really in my business, okay? Y'all really in my business, but uh, my favorite place to make out like that's in the home is the bedroom because I'm a very traditional lover and that's just my vibe when it comes to like loving on somebody. So the bedroom will always be first. But second, another place that I really have grown to like here lately is the kitchen, okay? It goes down in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm telling y'all that, but that's the God honest truth, okay? Horrible questions. I'm just spilling all of my tea on this damn video. <sighs> Fuck it. Next question. Are you scared of spiders? Today, no. But when I was growing up, absolutely. We used to get these spiders in our bathtub. And they had like these big round bodies. And they were like this brownish greenish color. And their legs used to go up and down like this. And I swear to God, I had the biggest fear of them. And I would freak out. And I would always yell for my mom to come and get them. And if my mom wasn't home, I would hold 
hold my pee until my mom got home and can kill that spider because I just wasn't able, okay? I couldn't be in the same vicinity with the damn spiders. So yeah, growing up, I definitely was scared of spiders, but now I'm not. And I also wouldn't kill a spider. Like I would want him to go and be free. I don't know if I'm just turning into some type of like earth mama or something, but I don't like killing bugs for real. The only bug that I would kill is a roach and a mosquito. I haven't had the heart to let mosquitoes and roaches live. So, <laughs> but any other bug, I would let them be great. I would even let a wasp be great before I kill it. Like, I just, I don't have it in my heart. I would let somebody else kill a bug in front of me, but I don't think I would want to kill a bug. I just, I just don't want that karma, okay? Would you go back in time if you were given a chance? Absolutely. I would love to go back in time. I wouldn't change anything, but I would just look from the perspective of being an outside view looking in, I would say. I have amazing memories uh, in my life, and just to be in that place again, like actually physically being in that space or being a spirit in that space, I feel like it would be so dope. Where was the last place you snogged someone? What is a snog? Like, I don't understand. Can I get a dictionary definition of that? No. That sounds like some white shit. No definition. Kiss and caress Eversley. Oh my god. It would be the third. The third of January was the last time I snogged somebody. Oh my gosh. I was not thinking that was the definition for that. I think it was like to me, snog sounds like mugging somebody, you know? Not kissing. What are your plans for this weekend? To chill, take a nap, watch movies with my bae, watch Netflix, YouTube, chill, eat, chill, okay? <laughs> I don't wanna do nothing. I don't wanna do nothing. I don't wanna go nowhere. I don't want to be nowhere. I want to be in my bed, in my house, okay? I will shower and brush my teeth, but I plan on doing a whole bunch of nothing this weekend. And um, it's going to be very satisfying. Okay, y'all. So those were the preliminary questions. Now I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of this video. There were some questions that was left on my community tab back when me and Reed did our Truth or Drink video. What is it that you don't like about me? So this question is, what is the nastiest thing you have done in the bed? That is spicy. Oh, get into it. All right. <laughs> and just for GP, favorite place to have sex? Mm -hmm. Would you ever try pegging during sex or have you already? So this question is, what is the nastiest thing you have done in the bed? This is back one place I ain't going to say. Because mm. I was about to say it, but then I thought, like, if my mom and them rushes, they might really feel away. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but we had already finished the video before I can get to these questions. But I did want to go ahead and get to them in this video. So here's T. The first question is, do you miss Sky? I have no idea who that is and who this person is asking about. I cannot miss a person that I don't know. So we just gonna go on to the next one. How many bodies do you have? Oh my gosh. Um, do I wanna answer this question? It's more than 10. <laughs> and you can just keep counting. It's been a lot, okay? It's been a lot. What's the most amount of money you've ever had in your bank account at once? I think the most of money that I've ever had in my bank account was probably just shy of like $10,000. I've never had a great amount of money in my bank account because I've never really been in a space where I saved a lot of money at once. I've never had like an actual job that was salary or anything. I don't have a career. I don't have anything really in my life that would cause me to have like a big amount of money in my bank account. So I would say like $10,000 probably was like the most that I ever had. I was never in a position as to where I had a lot of money. And I don't know if that's just like something that's blocked like within me from generational things or is it something that I feel about myself? Is my root chakra off? Is my sacral chakra off? I don't know what it is, but yeah, I never experienced this life 
uh, with a lot of money in my bank account or just having a lot of money in general so that's always something that I look forward to but I always want to see what the intention is behind me wanting to have a lot of money and the reason as to why I want that but I can definitely say that even though I've been through periods of time where I struggled in my life and stuff like that but I was always taking care of all of my needs have been met and that's really what's most important but I know that there will definitely be a time where I do have a lot of money all at once and I do possess a lot of money at once but I just haven't experienced that in my life yet I'm still young so I'm gonna give myself time I don't beat myself up about it I just take it as like that's just the position that I'm in right now and you either do what you gotta do to make it different or you stay there so I'm working on making it different but to be honest y'all I never really experienced what life is like having a lot of money and that's just the reality of it it's no point in me getting on here and trying to flex like I really just be having money like that I, I don't to be honest next question what youtuber do you dislike that's an interesting question I would say I do have youtubers that I dislike but I would never come on here and put their name out there like that that's so messy and toxic to me that's just not my mo i would never do that publicly i know who it is that i personally dislike and it's not that i dislike them as a person i just don't care for some of their actions and maybe that's something that i can look into like what are their actions that i dislike and what is it that's within me that i possess that maybe it's a part of me that i'm afraid to show or that i don't show or maybe it's something about me that i'm also just like them because you know we are all mirrors and reflections of each other so maybe it's something about those youtubers that's just like me name of the person you had the worst relationship with oh my gosh so annoying the relationship with my parents yeah it's my parents okay you would think that it's a romantic relationship absolutely not it's my parents that would be the worst relationship that I have had in my life and I feel like due to the fact that I didn't have a good relationship with my parents always it contributed to me picking horrible relationships in my future so I can only try to be a better person for me and in turn hope that my external world change and that my external relationships get better I try not to stress about it too much but yeah unfortunately worst relationships that I've had has definitely been with my parents and now not like a partner or somebody I dated. I know that's probably a shock to y'all, but it is what it is. This is gonna be the very last question. What's one of your sexual fantasies? Oh my gosh, it's so cliche, but one of my sexual fantasies is definitely to have a threesome with another girl and a dude. That is probably one of my biggest sexual fantasies and also to experience what it's like to be in an open relationship experience what it's like to be in a polyamorous relationship so having a main person that I date but we also like date other people and experience other people and having like my partner to be okay with us having that dynamic and be comfortable in their selves enough and secure in their selves enough that they know that even though we experience experience our relationships in this way it doesn't negate the fact of how we love each other how we feel about each other it doesn't diminish what it is that we have but they just have that understanding of I want to experience somebody else it's okay that I want to experience somebody else and me wanting to experience somebody else has nothing to do with you so yeah that would be the biggest fantasy of mine is like open relationship polyamorous feeling what it's like to have a set partner but also being able to explore other people but still having that solid foundation with the person that i'm in love with and like we know what it is but we just explore so. all right y'all so i have to get to work now y'all been in my business don't do that <laughs> like I opened up a little bit more let y'all into my world a little bit more and that's why I love this series the horrible questions ethic 
because it allows y'all a chance to get to know me so much better. If you made it to this point of the video, I want you to definitely throw up a hundred emoji in the comment section or you can throw this one up with the hands. Y'all know that one. To let me know that y'all made it to this point in the video and if y'all enjoy these, let me know if y'all want to see a part three because I can definitely get one out for you guys. So don't forget to consider liking the video by giving it a big thumbs up, subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and if you do subscribe, turn on your post notifications. That way you're always on the up and up as to the next time that I post another video. Connect with me on my social media at Unique Tarche, and I will see y'all on my next video. Bye, Journeys. Y'all really was in my business. I don't appreciate that.